welcome back. Hope you had another good week and I hope you're all well. Are we all good? Yep, good, I'm glad. Um, so today, I've been watching a lot of my videos through actually and I've been checking to see um, what's been popular, um, how many views videos have had and all that. And it seems to have been that the most popular one is the no equipment workout, um, which I can totally understand why. I think it's quick and easy. You just have to wheel into your living room and off you go. You don't need any equipment. So I totally understand it. So because of that today, I'm going to do another no equipment workout. So it's going to be the part two. So I hope you enjoy it and I hope it gives you another good old workout and but also gets your heart rate up because a lot of these um, exercises are going to be quite uh, cardio related and going to be quite fast paced. Hopefully get your heart rate up and get you out of breath, hopefully. I personally need that today because it's freezing in here today. I think summer is completely gone now um, for me. <laughs> so I just need to warm up. So hopefully we can do that. As always, guys, just remember, though, um, make sure you stay safe when you're doing these activities. Make sure you seek medical advice from your GP or healthcare professional before doing anything in this workout. I want you to stay safe. Obviously, I can't see you, so it's up to you to make sure you're um, doing the activities the right way. But if you're ready, I'm ready, and we'll get on with our warm-up. We'll do a five-minute warm-up like usual, and then we're going to do five exercises, and we're going to work for a minute on and have 30 seconds off then do another minute on and then have another 30 seconds off. So we'll repeat each exercise twice and then we'll finish off with a five minute cool down. So pretty normal, we've done it before, working for a minute and then having 30 seconds off. And I think it's really good when you haven't got an equipment because it gets your heart rate up even more. Anyway, so if you're ready, I'm ready and we'll get on with it and we'll do our five minute warm up. I'm gonna grab my timer and I'm gonna set it off. Make sure you've got a drink as well guys, if we get really, High energy, high heart rate up. You need to rehydrate yourself and keep hydrated as much as possible. So grab a drink and we'll get on with today's warm up. So off we go. And we're just gonna start off today's warm up with some punches. So we haven't done these for a while, so you're just gonna start off in a nice steady rhythm. Just get that heart rate up, get those arms moving. And get nice and active. So we're gonna punch for about a minute. But after 30 seconds, we're going to speed it up. Really good. So in 10 seconds time, we're going to start speeding up. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And speed it up even more. Get those arms working. Touch in the same place every time. Really good. Really good. And for the last 10 seconds, we're going to sprint. So in three, two, one, and off you go. You're just going to punch really, really fast for 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop there. Well done. Shake it off, get nice and loose. And then we're just going to do side reaches. So you're just going to reach down to the floor and touch the floor on each side. If you can't do this, then don't worry, you don't have to reach the floor. You can just go out to the side, just like this. Whatever's easiest for you, and whatever you find easier. I'm gonna touch the floor. I like this one. I'm gonna do this for about a minute as well. Really stretch those um, oblique muscles at the side of our body. They're down here. Keep going. Really good. <laughs> Should make all sorts of noises from very, very sorry. And we've got about 10 seconds left of this. We've really stretch down, stretch those muscles up. Three, two, one, and stop there. Ooh, reset your position, hope you're getting nice and comfortable. And then we're just going to finish it off with a bicep curl into a shoulder press. That's down. That is one. I'm going to do 10 of these, 2, 3, really stretch up as far as you can on that reach up, 5, 6, 7, 3 more to go, let's go guys, 
eight, really stretch up, nine, ten, and stop there, well done, sorry, I got a bit carried away, then I was going to go on to eleven. And then we're just going to finish off with our lawn mowers. So you're just going to do one short and one long. We're going to do ten on each arm. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, and switch side, one. Make sure you get the elbow nice and high on that short one. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, my shoulders are really pressing today. One more. Ten, well done. Shake it out. And then just finish off your warm up with a few neck rolls. And go five each way. Two, three, four, five. And switch direction. One, two, three, four. Five, cool, shake it all off guys, grab a quick drink and then we can go straight into our exercises now. We'll do that today, hold on. Um, beware, it's going to be tough, it's going to be hard work and you will get worn out so I'm really excited, hopefully it warms you up. That warm up's already warmed me up so that's good. Um, so our first exercise that we're going to do is we're going to do the opposite side pushes. We've done these in other workout videos before. So you're just going to turn your body as much as you can and push the opposite side, just like this. Remember guys, we're going to be doing this for a minute. So you try and keep it quite fast paced, high intensity and really work hard. So we're going to go in five seconds, three, two, one, and off we go. Oh, my time is really loud today, sorry. Really twist that body round if you can. Just throw every, everything you've got into it. Really push, push away the opposite side. Thirty seconds gone. You're halfway. Try looking the direction that you're pushing as well. Or pushing, sorry. Seconds left, final push, let's go. And stop there, well done. Sorry, I forgot to give you a timer. Countdown, I was too busy working. So we've got 30 seconds rest, have a nice break. And make sure you keep hydrated if you need to. Just turning that volume down a little bit again. Try and speed it up even faster for the second one. So really get that power around, like you're pushing away a door or something. Really throw your energy into it. We're going to go in three, two, one, and off we go. Another minute, guys. Let's go. Halfway, that's 30 seconds gone. Get nice and warm, let's go. Ten seconds, really final push now. Heat up that speed if you can. 
five, four, three, two, one, and stop there. Well done, shake it off, grab a quick drink, and then we'll go into our next exercise. So the next exercise we're going into is a new one. It's a new one I've added, and it's gonna be called the canoe. So it makes sense. So we're just gonna pretend you're canoeing. Two, three, four, and then switch sides. One, two, three, four. So you're gonna do four each side. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. The aim is that you reach forward as much as you can and drag the water back like you're in a canoe. But also keep that stable core as much as you can if you've got any core. Really make sure you're not moving around too much and you're working those arms. So if you're ready, we're gonna go in three, two, one, and off we go. One, two, three, four, and one. Two, four, and one, two, three, Four. Really good. Do this for a minute. Halfway, you got 30 seconds left. See where you can get that boat up to. Four and one. Shake it out. Oh, that actually really does like you. I was quite surprised about that one. I know I've invented it, but <laughs> it's a good one. Um, so yeah, that's called the canoe. And obviously it's because you're, it's like you're canoeing in a canoe. So really work those arms hard. We're gonna do another minute in about 10 seconds time. And um, really keep that rhythm. So we're gonna go in five, four, three, two, one, and off we go. See if you can speed it up this time. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Halfway there, 30 seconds on. Really good for my balance as well. Ten seconds left. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop there. Well done. That really has worked for my arms, I like it. Grab a drink. The next exercise is the third one. So we're nearly there, we're getting powering on through. And we did this one in um, one of the other videos recently. I don't know which one it was. I'm getting so confused. Anyway, so you can have your arms out by your side in a nice straight line, and you're just gonna create little, little circles as fast and tight as you can. Now I know this looks really, really simple and really easy and you're probably thinking, how's that gonna give me a workout? But trust me, I've been doing it for 40 seconds recently and that really hurts. So doing it for a minute is gonna be really challenging. If you're finding little circles too small, then definitely open up the circles so they're a little bit wider and get more range of movement and then slowly narrow them down into smaller circles. Do what works best for you. So if you're ready, we're gonna go in three, two, one, and off we go. Really tight circles. I think I'm gonna really regret giving myself this because they really, they do burn. You're doing really well, hang on in there. You've done 20 seconds already, it's okay. Ah, 
halfway, 30 seconds gone. Really tight circles, keep them really small if you can. Twenty seconds left. Let's go. Final push, let's go. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop there. Well done. That burn really hurt. Ooh, I can really feel that all the way down my muscles. Cool, well done, and see this time if you can just keep your shoulders nice and relaxed as you do it. Have a really good core, nice and solid core, um, so you've got a solid hip here and you're not moving too much. It's really good for balance too. Right, we're going to go in five seconds time. Three, two, one, and off we go again, another minute. It's really tough. I know you can keep up with me, I know you've got it. Remember guys, it's the third exercise. We are over halfway now. So you really push yourself in my office. Twenty seconds gone. And you're halfway, that's thirty seconds gone, let's go. Keep those arms nice and high. Don't let them drop. Keep them high. Nice and relaxed. Ten seconds left. Ah, the burn. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop there. Well done. Ooh, I feel that burning now. Go have a drink. They are my worst ones. They're so tough. But that means we are going on to our, my favourite two exercises for the last two. Um, so this fourth one, sorry, I'm going to say the third one. Fourth one that we're going to do is a new one I'm adding in. Um, I think we actually might have done it in the last, one of the last videos, I can't remember. I'm getting them all mixed up now, so very sorry. But this one is called the one arm swim. Pretty self-explanatory. So with one arm, you're just going to pretend you're doing a breaststroke and see where you end up. I feel like we're getting ready for all our adventures after lockdown. So we've done our canoeing, we've done our paddling with the brooms, and this time we're now going swimming with one arm. So it's up to you, try and do it as fast as possible. Really raise that heart rate, um, and we'll do one arm, and then for the second set we'll do the other arm. So it should make sense. Whew. And you give yourself a nice, nice bit of breath. Great, sorry, catch your breath back. And we're gonna go five, four, three, Two, one, and off we go. Really swim fast. You can use the other hand to balance, that's fine. My whole body seems to turn when doing this. So really swim. Get nice and wide stroke. Really good. It's really fun this. Halfway, 30 seconds left. Oh, it's held for a minute, 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one and stop there. Well done. Shake your arms out, get them nice and loose again. Whew. That is actually really tough for a minute. I've only ever done it for 40 seconds, so there's definitely me improving as well, which is good. Whew. And we'll get ready to go on the other arm. So you're going to do exactly the same. Just switch arms. Remember, you can keep your balance with the other hand if that helps. And we're going to go in five seconds' time. Four, three, Two, one, and off we go. Whew. Really, really stretch that arm out as you swim. Good 
doing really well. Well done. Keep it up. Keep it up. Keep swimming. Keep swimming. Keep swimming. What do we do? We swim, swim, swim. Ha, ha, la, la. Good old finding me, mate. <laughs> Love it. 20 seconds. Let's go. Keep swimming. I can't believe I just thanked you, sorry. <laughs> 10 seconds. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and stop there. Well done. Shake your arms out. They get nice and stiff when you're doing that. Ooh. And grab a quick drink. I actually can't believe I just sang to you. I'm really sorry. I think I'm losing the plot. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> and sorry if it clashed with the music, but you know, hey ho, what can you do? So that means we're going on to our fifth and final exercise. I don't know if we've done this before. We might have done it as a warm up, um, but we are going to be climbing the ladder. So you're simply just going to reach up as far as you can and pretend you're climbing the ladder. Very easy, nice and fast if you can, as well as stretching up. So we're going to go three, two, one and off we go. We're going for a minute, remember. Really stretch up and pull down. Try and keep that core nice and stable too. Thirty seconds left. Halfway there. Really good. Really pull that ladder down as you come down. Five, four, three, two. That one's really tiring actually. Ooh, I'm actually worn out of breath. Let me catch it back. <laughs> and then we'll go again. So yeah, the faster you do it guys, the more out of breath you should be. So it's really good. Really test yourself. And remember, we're going into our final minute now. So really work hard, have everything you put everything you've got into it. And get ready, we're gonna go five seconds. Three, two, one, and off we go again. Final 30 seconds, you're halfway. yourself a drink, get nice and hydrated. Oh, I feel like when able-bodied people get worn out, they just lie on the floor. And I feel like if I could do that right now, I would, and just catch my breath back. <laughs> oh, get nice and loose. Oh, my arms are gonna be really stiff tomorrow. Definitely need to make sure we have a nice good cool down. So if you're ready, we're gonna go into our cool down now. And as usual, we're going to do five minutes. So we're going to start off with, oh, that's my timer telling me. We're going to start off with just rotating our arm backwards, 10 each side. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, and ten. Switch arms. One. We're not going to do any theraband stretches today because that would be equipment being used. I don't want to use any equipment. So we're going to do all static stretches today. Make sure our muscles are just really stretched out after that intense warm um, exercise. I think we're on seven. We'll go with seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. And shake it out. It's also probably a good thing because my theraband is very broken right now and it's very short. It's going to about this length now, which is not ideal. Anyway, sorry, I'm talking too much. You have your arms straight across your body and support it with the other hand. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and switch arms so your arms straight, cross it across your body, and support it with the other hand. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, shake it out, we're then going to stretch up, drop your arm down, and if you can, pull it across with the other hand, if you can't, just keep it dropped down behind your back, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, stretch out and round, and same for the other side, stretch up, Drop it down, and if you can, pull it across with the other hand. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You're going to stretch out and round, get nice and loose, fix my hair up, always important. Then you're going to have one arm by your side, leaning on your wheel, and you're then just going to stretch over to the other side. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This will really stretch down the side of our body. Same with the other side. And reach over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And come back to the middle. We're then just going to twist in our chair so you're going to hold the opposite side back press and you're going to look behind you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And you're going to come back to the middle and switch round to the other opposite side. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You can come back to the middle and we're just going to stretch up. Have a really good stretch up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Come back down. Get them nice and loose, shake it up. And finally, guys, we're just going to finish off with our neck stretches. So we're going to do one side and the other. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And switch to the other side. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Well done, guys. Shake it all off. And that, that's another 25 minute workout complete. Sick. Well done. Grab a quick drink. And it's always good to finish off with a drink. I've been eating that for a bit. <laughs> so I hope you really enjoyed that guys. I hope it's been another good exercise for a no equipment workout. So I hope you really enjoyed that and giving you more exercises that you can do. Um, I particularly like the swimming ones. You can do 
one arm at a time. You could do two arms together. There's a lot you could do. Back, backstroke. You could do front crawl as well if you want. You could do a whole workout with just swimming exercises, I've realised. So maybe we'll do that one day. Maybe we'll do a sports workout. You never know. Um, but I hope you've really enjoyed that. I've had great fun today and I feel it's really warmed me up and it's really, it's really worked my arms. I feel like I'm going to ache tomorrow. So um, it's been, been a good workout for me as well. So thank you so much for coming back and watching this, guys. Remember, subscribe to my channel. Don't miss out. And like my videos just so you get notifications as well on when they're uploaded. I'm releasing them every Tuesday, so I hope you're enjoying them. And please, honestly, do get in touch if you have any new ideas of what you want me to do. It's been really nice to hang out with you guys again and do a workout with you. I'm feeling like it's really motivating me as well, so thank you very much. Um, I'll see you again soon and I'll see you next week. Bye!